What's going on YouTube? Justin here, aka Goofy Skating Lifestyle. I want to do something a little different with y'all, bring y'all along. I'm going to be making my lunch today, or my lunch for the next couple days. Depends on how much of it I eat, but we're going to get started with getting the grill out and warmed up with the charcoal. Put that stuff to the side. Clean out all the old charcoal in here on POV. I'll pour in the charcoal with you guys, light it up on fire. We'll go in the house and prepare the chicken. We're gonna be having chicken. All right, guys, got the matches, of course. Here is the chicken we're gonna be using. We got Coors Light. We're gonna be making beer can chicken, all right? So what I'm gonna do is bring y'all out here. We will get the grill started nice and hot. And then once the grill warms up and I have prepped the chicken with you guys, we will throw the chicken on here, let it sit for about, I can't remember, I think it was hour 15 I did it for the last time. We'll probably do it an hour 15 to an hour 30. So um, that's usually what I do depending on the size of the chicken, of course. Let me grab lighter fluid. Look back! And get the matches on there, right there. If you are a young one watching this, please don't do this at home alone. If you're gonna do this, please have adult supervision when cooking, especially in the house. But when you are doing things with fire, no fire safety and understand the risks and have a hose ready hose is over there not like it's that important right now because i know what i'm doing and i have a fire extinguisher in the house but just be prepared for anything that could potentially happen because shit happens but i'm gonna let this warm up now and uh, let's go in the house and prepare the chicken All right, guys, so for our chicken, let me grab the seasoning we will be using. Let me find it. Uh, we've got a dry rub we're going to be using. It is Grillmate Sweet Smoky Rub. Just some basic stuff you can get at basically any local Wegmans, Giant, or whatever grocery store you have. Safeway, I don't know, most places have them. I'm going to take the turkey out of the bag here the best I can on video with you guys. I have to keep the camera in one position because I don't want to get it dirty on the, uh, I don't want to get the GoPro dirty, excuse me, um, since I'm dealing with uh, some raw chicken. So, Hopefully this goes as planned as it usually does. I'm gonna try our best here. I know most of it won't be in the cut, but I'm going to check for giblets. Of course, there's gonna be a couple of giblets. There's the turkey neck or the chicken neck and giblets all in there. Don't want any of those in there because you wanna put the beer can inside of the chicken. So because of that, I'm going to make sure all the giblets are out of the inside of it. The best way to do that is just stick your hand in there and grab all the giblets. Of course, if you haven't done this before, I'm going to grab our chicken. I will clean the cap and everything off of this because I'm dealing with raw chicken. Make sure you wash your hands before you touch this stuff, but it's whatever. So. 
I'm just going to season the heck out of this thing, rub it all around the chicken, and then I will bring you guys to the next step once I wash my hands. Make sure you get it in all the cracks and crevices. You can use any dry rub you would like. I'm just doing this one because I did this one last time and I didn't mind it. It's pretty good, pretty tasty. Load that thing up, load that sucker up. Oh yeah. Get it all in the nooks and crannies of your chicken. Rub it all in there. Massage it a little bit and get it all up in there. Try and put it up in between the skin too if you want to, if you like that. I do sometimes if I get a chance to. Um, nothing too crazy. But I'm gonna wash my hands and then I will show you guys what to do with the beer. Alrighty guys, so I do not drink. I'm not a big drinker. I've had a couple beers before, you know, I'm 21, but I don't really like it. I hate the feeling of it. It tastes like piss anyway. I mean, it's different, but we're gonna pour out about half of the can or maybe just like a third of the can. You don't wanna pour out too much, but you don't want it overflowing when you pour more of this inside the can if you would like to which is what i'm going to do but not only that when it gets hot up on the grill it tends to bubble up and foam sometimes so because of that you want it to be down lower in the can a little bit but you want to still have that smoky beer flavor that you're going to get in the chicken obviously cooked so you can't get drunk off of that anyway regardless um, because it's going to be cooked in that factor but um, I'm gonna set you guys down and put the beer can um, facing so the chicken is standing up. And then once I said, like I said, the grill is ready to go, I will throw it on there with you guys. All right guys, so remember that I am not responsible for anything that happens to you at your house if anything happens, like for example, a fire and or if the chicken is not fully cooked or whatever, make sure your chicken always cooks to a temperature of 165. Um, we are basically just setting the beer can on top of the chicken, like so. I'm going to try our best here. It's kind of tricky with some small, many smaller ones, but this one, fits just on fits on there just perfectly i'm gonna wash my hands again and rinse off the bottle that i used for my seasoning because i messed up there and decided not to wash my hands before i touched it that's all good it's part of cooking things can get messy you just clean up afterwards so what i like to do like i said is open the can up or like split the chicken up top apart and then pour that seasoning down in there into the beer bottle or beer can, excuse me. And then also rub the rest up on top like this, just so you get a really nice, nice coat and layer of dry rub seasoning on this beast. We are going to put this on there in about 15 minutes or so, maybe a little longer. It depends on how fast the charcoal dissipates. You always want to, with charcoal grills, um, if you have a gas grill, it'll be different obviously, but with charcoal grills, you want to make sure that your charcoals are a little grayer and the, um, the uh, smell of the lighter fluid dissipates, of course, because you do not want to get that lighter fluid into your body it is, it's nasty. It can make you just as sick as a raw chicken could or potentially harm you in many other ways. 
So be careful um, when using charcoal, always make sure to let it dissipate a little bit and cook off the um, toxins in the charcoal, but not only in the charcoal, also the lighter fluid. So I will see you guys at the grill. All right guys, so it's already set to go. I'm going to go ahead and set you guys down here, throw the chicken on and then set a timer. And once the timer is up, I will show you guys the finished product. I will possibly give you guys updates in between that, of course. We'll see how things go. But until then, um, chicken on correctly, crop it. And if you are wondering what to run your chicken temp at, try and touch this without getting it too dirty. If you want to know what you want your grill to run at, I usually run it at anywhere between 400 and 500 degrees. I know that's really hot, but that's how I like to get the crispy texture of it. And it is always turning out great at like an hour 30. So I'm gonna set a timer for about an hour 30 because I know it's about to get to at least 400, 450 degrees. And I will give you guys updates in between. Until then, enjoy the process. I might time lapse it actually. <clears throat> All right guys, I'm gonna pop her open and see how she's doing. I will rotate it every now and then, but it's only been like 25 minutes. So as you can see, it's doing its job. It's looking pretty. So we're gonna throw it back on there. The girl's sitting at about 450, so that is perfect. That's all you need. That's all you really could ask for. That is awesome. I'm going to flop this back around. Uh, I want it to be on this side, the thing on this side, because the charcoal's over here. So then it swoops up, gets to the chicken, comes out that way. I don't know. I don't know if that really does anything, but that's kind of the way I'm looking at it right now. And uh, I'll give you guys an update back in a little bit. All right, guys. So I'm going to pop the lid off and I'm going to rotate the chicken real quick. Set you guys down right there. And I will show you guys how it's looking. It is looking amazing. Good God. Before I put the lid back on, I'm gonna show you guys how it's looking. Looking absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna turn it to the side like this. So then the charcoal's get it over here a little bit. And then in about another half hour, I'll flip it to this part and then do one more rotation. So basically three to four rotations total is what I prefer to do personally. The grill is also getting really hot. Um, so I'm trying to take the lid on and off in there just to cool it off a little bit. It's getting up to like 550. So I want it to just about 450, 500, and uh, it'll start looking really good. Just so you guys know, we only have about an hour left until the chicken is done. All right, guys, I just flipped or rotated it again. Excuse me, not flipped, rotated. It is looking really good. The temperature is just where I want it. So, give you guys another update with the last rotation. All right, guys. So, I'm eating some bread right now, but this is how the chicken is looking. Oh, stepping on that. Anyway, I'm gonna rotate it one last time. And then, uh, it looks like I'll be ready to eat. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to check the chicken now on the grill. Hopefully it doesn't start raining. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm just gonna cut it open a little bit. Appears like it's possibly done. Let's see. 
I'm gonna set you guys down and check it. Yeah. <clears throat> all right guys she's all set and done i'm gonna throw her on the plate here and then we'll cut it up inside all right guys it is in the house i'm gonna let it rest there for about 10 15 minutes once it's done resting I will cut it up and I'll take a bite with you guys. Um, potentially, I don't really know if that's really like a really, I don't know, this is my first grilling uh, video. So well, I'm just kind of going along, don't know what the hell I'm doing. But uh, thought, it, thought it was fun. I think it's fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when it's time to cut it. So I'm just gonna cut it upright like this because I'm not trying to burn myself on that uh, can. It's a pain in the butt to get out right now, so I'm just going to stick a fork and the knife in it and start cutting away. She is looking really exciting, like as in I'm excited to eat this. Um, might give a piece to my dog too, so he's also excited. Harder to cut, but she's looking tender. Oh yeah, tender. She's looking good, Nubby. Dog's name is Nubby. I'll show you guys him in a second. Give him a piece. Get all that meat out of there. There's the can. Let's see if I can push the can out. No, the can's not coming out. It's just gonna have to soak in there. It's so whatever. All right, don't do it that way. Yeah, it's whatever. Just pour all the contents out. The beer's been on there long enough to where it's not gonna be like poisonous to the chicken. It's been cooked through. It's been on there for an hour and a half. Um, so I'm not too concerned about that. Start putting all the chicken over here. Cut more of it up in a minute. Got this uh, nice juicy breast here. It's looking really tender. Pulls right apart. It's looking phenomenal. Let's try and get the rest of this chicken cut. This is like my least favorite part because I'm ready to eat it. And uh, I don't know, I don't like using knives all that much anymore. Um, I mean, it's not a chicken, but I don't. I want to reduce the risk of accidentally nicking myself or something. So, hey, a piece of skin. That is phenomenal. Most of the chicken is off. Let's see. Mm. 
And I think I said this in the beginning, but always make sure your chicken is cooked to a temp of 165, just so you don't get the seminal poisoning or whatever. My dog is ready. Before I cut this video off and end the uh, video, I will take a bite of the chicken. And so my dog going to go bite here. I'm telling you, man, can't go wrong with some beer can chicken. You go, Mr. Nubby. Sit. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. I always thought this was neat about Nubby here. If you can see, we got him in a rescue, a uh, boxer rescue. I think he's like part dog of Argentino, boxer and pit bull or whatever. But if you look at his eye, it's got a blue color to it on the bottom there. It's beautiful. He's a good boy. He likes his food. That's all he loves. Just kidding. He loves us too, I'm sure. But anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you all are enjoying the content so far. Just as much as I enjoy making it and watching it over. Until then, please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.